गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स साईराम वी आर डूइंग चैप्टर टेन मैंसुरेशन लेट्स बिगिन द सेशन बाय सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम दैट वाज गिवन एज होमवर्क आई होप यू हैव ऑल डन द होमवर्क प्लीज चेक योर आंसर और द सोल्यूशन ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम दैट वाज गिवन एज होमवर्क सो दिस वाज प्रॉब्लम नंबर वन सी ऑफ एक्साइज टेन फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ द रेक्टेंगल हु साइड्स आर 2 meter 2 uh, kilometers and 3 kilometers so what is the solution for this we have this rectangle which has 3 kilometer length and 2 kilometer breadth okay and how do we find the area of a rectangle it is by using this formula length into breadth so we will substitute the value of length that is 3 kilometer and the value of breadth that is 2 km here so 3 into 2 becomes 6 so 6 square km is the area of this rectangle so the answer is 6 square km which can also be written like this 6 km square please check your answers now let's see what we are going to do today we are going to solve the problems of exercise 10.3 that is problem number 2 question number 2 a and b question number 3 a b and c and also question number 4 and question number 5 homework assignment is given at the end of the uh, session now let's revise how we find out the area of a rectangle children we have learned that uh, area of rectangle is length multiplied by breadth so if we have a rectangle with length l and breadth b then what will be the area of this rectangle it will be l into b and how do we find the area of a square children we know that area of square is side multiplied by side side into side so if we have a square like this with each side a then it will be a into a so that area of square will be a square or a into a a into a can be written as a square so this is the formula to find out the area of the square if we know the side now let's begin uh, this uh, solving uh, uh, problem number 2 of exercise 10.3 we have problem a find the area of the square whose side is 10 cm so we have a square here whose side is 10 cm okay so what will be the area of the square we apply this formula side multiplied by side side we have uh, taken as a so a is equal to 10 cm so area of square is a multiplied by a or a into a so we substitute value of a here it is 10 10 into 10 so it becomes 100 square cm or it can be also written as 100 cm square so what is the area of this square it is 100 cm square children note down this uh, solution in your notebook let's move on to the next problem problem number b question number 2 exercise 10.3 so let's find the area of the square whose sides are 14 cm so we have a square here we have a square whose side is 14 cm so side is taken as a which is equal to 14 cm all the sides are equal to 14 cm so what will be the area of square it is side into side or a into a so it will be 14 multiplied by 14 and when we multiply 14 by 14 what is it it becomes 196 so 196 square cm or cm square is the area of this square note down this answer the solution in your notebook it's very important that uh, when the class is going on you note down the solution 
of the problems in your notebook. Now coming to the next question. Question number 3, exercise 10.3. Here we have uh, 3 rectangles whose length and breadth are given. We have to find the areas of these 3 triangles and then we have to compare them and find out which is the largest uh, which rectangle has the largest area and which has the smallest area. So, the first rectangle is having length 9 meter and breadth 6 meter. So, let us find out the area of this rectangle. So, it is given length is 9 meter and breadth is 6 meter. So, how do we find the area of rectangle? It is length into breadth. So, we substitute the value of length that is 9 uh, meters and breadth that is 6 meters. So, 9 into 6 becomes 54. So, the area of this rectangle is 54 square meters or 54 meters square. It can be written like this. You know down all these steps in your notebook. Now, let us move on to the next uh, rectangle. Here the length of the rectangle is given as 17 meter and the breadth is given as 3 meter. So, let us find out its area. What will be its area? It will be length into breadth. Area of rectangle is length into breadth. Now, we substitute the value of length here that is 17 meters and value of breadth here that is 3 meters. Now, 17 multiplied by 3, it becomes 51 square meters or it can also be written 51 meters square. This is the area of the rectangle B. Okay? Now, this step also you please note down in your notebook. Now, coming to C, uh, here we have a rectangle whose length is 14 meter and breadth is 4 meter. We have to find out its area. So, length is given as 14 meter, breadth is 4 meter. Now, let us find out its area. So, here we have 14 meter length, 4 meter breadth. Area of the rectangle will be length into breadth. So, what is the length? It is 14 meter and what is breadth? It is 4 meter. 14 multiplied by 4 become 50 square, uh, 56. So, the area is 56 square meters or 56 meters square. Please note down this step in your notebook. Now, we will compare the areas of these three rectangles. Children, we have found out the first, the area of first rectangle is 54 meters square, is not it? Then the area of this rectangle B, this is B is 51 meter square or square meter and area of rectangle C is uh, 56 meter square. Now, which rectangle has the largest area? C is 56 meter square. So, rectangle C has the largest area and which one has smallest area? Rectangle B is having area 51 meter square. So, B is the uh, rectangle with smallest area. Now, let us move on to the next problem. Problem number 4 of exercise 10.3. The area of a rectangular garden 50 meter long is 300 square meter. Find the width of the garden. Children here the a garden is rectangular and its length is given as 50 meter and also its area is given which is 300 square meter. What we have to do? We have to find the width of the garden. So, area of the rectangle is given 300 square meter and length is given as 50 meter. We have to find the breadth or width of the rectangle. So, which formula we will use? We will use this formula area of rectangle is equal to length into breadth 
to find out the breadth of this rectangle. Let's see how we solve this. So children we know that area of rectangle is length into breadth but the area is given here 3 uh, square uh, meters so it is the area of the rectangle is given as 300 square meters it is square meters not centimeters square meters and uh, so we will uh, substitute the value of uh, area here and then uh, length is given as 50 meters so we will put 50 meter here in place of l and we have to find out b that means breadth so 50 into b is equal to 300 now we can find out b or breadth by dividing the area by length of the rectangle so when we divide 300 by 50 then what do we get we get 6 meter so what is the width of the garden it is 6 meters please note it down in your notebook now next question is question number 5 of exercise 10.3 this problem is very important please pay attention and note it down in your notebook what is the cost of tiling a rectangular plot of land 500 meter long and 200 meter wide at the rate of rupees 8 per 100 square meter so here we have the length of the rectangular plot and the width is also given all right and what we have to find out we have to find out the cost of tiling this plot this this rectangular plot at what cost at rupees 8 per 100 square meter per 100 square meter means for 100 square meter rupees 8 is the cost so what is the cost of, of tiling this plot that we have to find out for this first let us find the area of the rectangular plot then we will find the cost of uh, tiling that area so here we have this rectangular plot which is 500 meter long and 200 meter uh, wide okay so here we will tile the area of the rectangular part so let's find the area area of the rectangular plot will be length into breadth isn't it so it will be length into breadth so substituting value of length here 500 and breadth 200 we get 500 into 200 so what do we get we get 1 lakh square meter as the area of the rectangular plot now it is given in the pro question that the cost of tiling 100 square meter 100 square meter is rupees 8 so what do we have to find out 100 square the cost of tiling 100 square meter is given we have to find out the cost of tiling 1 lakh square meter isn't it so the cost of 100 square meter uh, tiling 100 square meter is rupees 8 so the uh, cost of tiling 1 square meter will be 8 upon 100 and what will be the cost of tiling 1 lakh square meter it will be 8 upon 100 into 8 upon 100 into 1 lakh so it becomes 8 multiplied by 1000 isn't it because we can strike off these two zeros when 1 lakh divided by 100 we get 1000 so 8 multiplied by 1000 that means rupees 8000 so it will cost rupees 8000 to tile this rectangular plot please note it down in your notebook this problem is very important you have to remember all the steps please note down in your notebook now here we have your home assignment this is problem number 2 c of exercise 10.3 find the area of the square whose sides are 5 say 5 meter okay the side of the square is given you have to find the area of the square so which formula you apply 
uh, area of square is equal to side into side. So, it is very simple. And next question is question number 6 of exercise 10.3 a table top measures 2 meter by 1 meter 50 centimeter. So, what is its area in square meters? Here we have a table top which measures 2 meter that means it is a rectangular table top the length is 2 meter and what is the breadth it is 1 meter 50 centimeter ok. So, you have to convert 2 meter uh, into centimeters and also 1 meter 50 centimeters into centimeter then you can find the area of this rectangular table top. We have solved this kind of uh, problem. So, uh, you refer that and solve this problem. We will also discuss this problem in our coming session. Till then bye and thank you.